What's going on guys, your boy King Red Diamonds and I'm back for another Neo 2 video. Uh, in today's video, I explained it in my stream, but since I'm such an idiot, there was no audio. So no one could hear me. So anyone who came through the stream, I apologize for the miscommunication. But next stream up, we won't have that problem. But today, I'm going to be talking about um, what I feel is the um, best burst counter or yokai form for burst counter to use for um majority of players now um before i get into that i ask you guys please like comment and subscribe almost a 1600 subscribers could have done it without you guys clearly but i appreciate you guys so much for supporting the channel and let's keep on going until i hit 2k 2k is my goal for 2024 if I could hit higher than 2K before the end, I've reached my goal, and I thank you all so much for that. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into the video. So, burst counters, all right? Uh, yokai forms, all that good stuff. In my opinion, I'm going to start off by saying this. I feel as though the best burst counter is the Phantom Burst Counter. Reason being is because the Phantom Burst Counter is a counter. It is not um it's not like a an attack where you have to you know hit the enemy or um it's not an attack or it's not a, like a, a mechanic where you have to you know dodge and have the enemy hit your after image or anything like that it's literally a counter so um everyone knows or if you've been playing this game you know when the enemy charges up with that red like that red aura around them they're doing an attack that can be burst counter okay so for the phantom burst counter it is literally a counter you have to have good timing but um it honestly in my opinion is the best one simply because if your timing is on point and you get your burst counter off there's no pretty much there's no like um there's no downside you know what i'm saying there, there's nothing there's nothing bad that could happen basically so what i mean by that is with the brute burst counter for example when you're doing the brute burst counter once the enemy charges up their attack you have to have the mindfulness to say oh burst counter brute right in the midst of you doing your brute burst counter the enemy can hit you and if you're low on health and you're not on point with your timing during that burst counter like encounter you could take a hit and it could kill you so you could die in the midst of doing your burst counter with the brute burst counter because it doesn't negate your attack or it doesn't negate the attack or the damage. It is a pretty much it's, it's an attack in itself, but you're also countering the enemy. So I'll show you what I mean by that in terms of like not being on point with it. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad burst counter. I'm not saying don't use it. I still use all the burst counters to this day, depending on the guardian spirit that I'm running. But in my opinion phantom's the best um phantom also allows you to block so if your point if your timing isn't on point with the phantom and you do your burst counter it becomes a block and you don't take damage now you will lose key but it's better than taking damage in that split second okay so if, it, if you don't get the burst counter off with the phantom it becomes a block you'll lose key for a quick second but then you'll get regain it back and then you can continue fighting now with the feral burst counter the Feral Burst Counter, in my opinion, is probably the second best. When you first get the game, the game technically tells you to go with the Brute Burst Counter because it's like, they say it's beginner friendly. You don't have to worry about timing or you don't have to worry about using it in the right moment. You could just use it and then it works as is. Now, that is true. For a beginner, the Brute Burst Counter is probably the best for beginners. But if you're used to playing fighting games or... Um, open world games or games that have mechanics that fight that that allow you to fight i feel as though you should probably go with the phantom anyway simply because um like again if you've played games before if you're good with your timing if you know how to counter in other games it'll probably be more beneficial to you to use the phantom than the brute uh but going back to feral the feral burst counter um i feel as though it's the second best one simply because again if you miss on the burst counter, like if you don't do the burst counter in a timely manner, you can pretty much turn that burst counter into a dodge. So say you, the person charges up with the red aura and you decide to use your burst counter, but 
you don't do it in the right timing or you don't do it correctly or it just doesn't connect with the enemy it becomes a dodge so rather than taking damage you just dodge out the way and now there's no problem you can get right back into the fight so that's my opinion on it um hopefully this video isn't too long you know i like to talk but that's my opinion on that but i'll show you the reasoning behind my opinions so that you can get a better grasp like what i'm talking about all right so what i'm going to do right now as you can see in the top left i have my phantom burst counter active what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to get the enemy to you know do that charge up that way um excuse me that way um you can see the different effects and basically what i mean by when i say the burst counter for phantom is probably better simply because of how well it counters the timing is a bit easier to figure out so first i'm gonna actually burst i'm gonna actually get the burst counter off successfully and then i'll show you what happens when you don't get it off successfully So, as you saw right there, the timing was on point. Once he got close, I activated my burst counter, and it was pretty much in the flow of combat. It wasn't something that I had to like worry about, like, um, do I, am I going to get the timing right? I know exactly when the timing's supposed to happen. The moment the, character, the moment the person who's charging at you with their red aura is like pretty much touching you, like the moment they touch you, that's when you activate your burst counter and it'll pretty much be like perfectly settled in the flow of combat okay that's why i feel as though the phantom is the best one because it helps you continue your flow of combat it doesn't slow you down as well as you don't your timing um it's easier in my opinion to time you know like most of the time when you think of a counter you're thinking of perfect timing making sure as soon as the enemy touches you you pretty much counter it on that moment rather than you being the one to initiate the counter in the middle of their attack um i know it may sound confusing but for those of you who play fighting games you'll probably understand what i'm saying um in terms of just you know whenever you think of countering you think of waiting for the perfect time to pretty much reverse that person's actions you know that's what a counter pretty much think is in your mind. So in my opinion, I feel like that's why Phantom is the best because you're waiting for the perfect moment to counter rather than taking the initiative to attack them before they hit you. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what I mean by um, the burst counter pretty much like me basically doing the burst counter at the wrong time and it turning into a block. Okay. actually missed that time so I have to wait again <laughs> one more see it's kind of hard for me to miss the timing because I'm so used to it like I have to literally I have to force myself to miss the timing yeah, see it's hard it's hard to miss the timing with it because it's, so, it's so easy to use yeah, it's like it's so easy to use like it's hard to miss the timing with it let's try with the yokai Let's try with the yokai and see. I didn't think I would kill him. <laughs> Let's try again.
see, boom, there it is right there. So, you see how I didn't counter him, but I blocked and didn't take any damage. That's what I mean by if you miss the burst counter, it just turns into a block. So it's 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 easy, like it's it's easy to use when you're when you're countering on time, but if you miss the timing, it just becomes a block. So that's what I mean by burst the uh, the phantom burst counter being the best. It, it it's it's pretty much like a like a safety net if anything. Not to mention the timing. People may say they may say like it's more for advanced players. It's really not. It's all about timing. And if you if you play a game like this, you're going to develop that timing. So once you do develop that timing, burst count is pro um the phantom burst count is probably going to be your best bet. So now I'm going to switch to the uh, feral, and then we'll I'll show you how that one works as well. All right. So now, as you can see, top left, I have my feral activated. Feral is this right here. Again, what I mentioned before. If you don't hit the burst counter, it becomes a dodge. You can actually use this in mid combat. If there's an attack like um, the attack that they use when they charge up black and white instead of red, the black and white attack is, 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 a, is basically a non-blockable attack. You cannot block it. You cannot burst counter it. If they hit you with it, it they're going to grapple you and they're going to do a lot of damage. So if you find yourself in a situation where you can't block and maybe you don't have enough key, your key is low, so you can't really dodge. First count out the way, and now they won't attack you, okay? Now, the mechanic behind the Feral Burst counter is that you want them, when they charge up red, you want them to hit your after image. Now, you can go forward and attack them. Um, it does work in certain cases, but majority of the uh, time, you want them to hit your after image. So the after image you leave behind, you want them to hit that, okay? So I'll show you um, a successful burst counter, and then I'll show you a dodge. You can even do, like I said, you can even implement it in your combat. So get back up, create some distance. If he's attacking, boom, dodge. If you have enough anima, you can literally just do that the entire time. Like, it's, it's very versatile. Very versatile. So as you can see, I kind of went at an angle but still towards him, that way I can do the burst counter. And then there you go, it's a dodge right there. I didn't do it correctly and let it hit my after inch, but it was a dodge. So you want, you can go forward, you can go to the side. Uh, I think you can even go backwards maybe, but that again will become a dodge. So you can go forward, you can go to the side. As long as they hit that after image, you'll, put, you'll successfully pull off the burst counter. And that right there is also an example of why I say it's the second best. Because if you do it too early, it ends early. And he and they might extend the duration of their uh their grapple in that situation. So be careful when using this this burst counter, okay? That's why I say it's the second best. Again, you can go forward, go to the side, as long as they hit that after image. That's another example of a dodge. So let's get him up out of here and then I can do uh, the boot. But that right there is an, is an example of the feral burst counter, okay? So <clears throat> again, that's the reason why I say it's the second best because there are flaws to it. Now there are flaws to all three, no question. There are, all, there are flaws to all three. There are certain situations where in the, the phantom burst counter, you may miss it completely and get hit but i feel like the um the margin of error is a bit bigger with the other two rather than the the, uh, the phantom one okay now i'll go to the brute one and then we'll finish up from there all right so now i have my brute burst counter which everyone should know it's pretty much the most simple one probably the most recognized one it's a it's a pretty much a slap you know 
it's also very good to implement into your combat when using it because you can actually use it as an attack um as well as to continue a combo so you can be doing a combo like you could do something like this and then uh something like this add it in step back throw out a yokai ability do something else so um brute burst counter definitely has its uses as well but again it's all about whether you have the timing or not okay so we're gonna show put it we're gonna successfully pull off one and i'll show you what happens when you don't successfully pull it off So that right there is a successful burst counter. The moment he activated, that's that right there, that was probably the perfect example as to why I said that burst counter isn't as good as the others, but it's still usable. I had to activate that burst counter the moment he glowed red. The moment that red or like wound up around him, I had to activate my burst counter simply because if I'd have waited any longer, I might have activated too late and then he would have grappled me and it wouldn't have worked okay so that's an example of you know not waiting too long to activate it so i'll i'll try again to wait a little bit longer because a lot of the time when you're in the middle of a battle a lot of people their focus is more so on not dying and attacking the enemy and killing them as quickly as possible rather than you know being more having more tech and uh trying to catch them off guard. So I backed up a little bit, I activated it, right? And it worked out. But again, see, how, see what happens when you let him get too close? He'll grapple you. So you have to be more on point with your burst counter timing when you're using the group. Again, as you saw, I tried to activate it a little bit slower. He still grappled me. So you have to be more on point. Have to be on point when you're doing your brute burst counter. Those were two examples as to why I feel as though um, the Phantom is the best. Okay. So that should have shown you the meaning behind my words. That should have shown you how I feel about each burst counter. Um, I know this is kind of like a so-so video, but um, a lot of these, a lot of the tips and tricks I give is, are, are stuff that people don't usually talk about. Like this is stuff that people don't go in depth with. And I feel as though a lot of people want to know. There's a lot of things about certain games I would like to know. When I play a game, I want to know the ins and outs of that game, especially if I like it. If I like that game, I want to know what's the best weapon, what's the worst weapon, maybe which ones can be used in a certain way. I want to know all of that. So that's why I put these videos out for you guys. But I hope you all enjoy. If you have any questions, always feel free to hit me up in the comment section. You already know that I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, I always try to answer all your questions if they are questions. So uh, thank you all so much. It's your King Red Diamonds. I'm out.